Well, I really didn't want to do a, another second one on Elena Kagan. And I'm not mad at Elena Kagan. I had to post a lot of uh, links to stories. I'm surprised how many uh, popular blogs don't have share link capacity, meaning you can't share their story. It's easy. You, add, you see me share all my links? You add that to your website, meaning uh, add to any. You add that in, it doesn't take time. You don't have to be a computer programmer to have that function. You know why I'm mad? Okay. How did I know that Elena Kaga, Kagan was at least one time gay? This is not a gay bashing right wing Christian conservative when you hear me speak about issues. When I speak about issues, the purpose is to basically say we want fairness on all sides. I didn't even make an issue out of the fact that at one time, at least, Elena Kagan. If you have a girlfriend that's well known when you were in college or people in your inner circle knew that you were with her as a girl, if you went to somebody's prominent wedding and you brought a girlfriend up. So a lot of people, of course, I remember myself watching as a news watcher. If I even had the clip, I'm sure they would deny it. This is what we're going to talk about. Where all the sites I just read. I remember during the uh, nomination process of Elena Kagan, and remember she was not even a judge. She was a solicitor general with no judicial opinions at all, meaning you couldn't even go back. So Republicans could have voted her down, which they didn't, just because of lack of judicial experience. But I remember during that whole process, I wasn't a right-winger, let's stop any open gay or closeted lesbian from being... No, I was not that way. But I remember in some of the hearings, just from memory, there was a question like, well, we're proud to have the first, you know, openly gay justice on the court. And I remember, and this was on C-SPAN, whatever it was. And she kind of like made a face like didn't, and then the response was something like, oh, so, oh, so you don't want us to out you type of a thing. And I wasn't like someone the right that would basically find information that at least at one time, whether or not now, that she was in that type of a lifestyle. And then the thing that upset me and caused me to make this other one, and you saw the various links I gave. There were many prominent gay sites that I don't go to. But in just researching this in the last hour, sharing links, uh, there were gay sites that were kind of upset at Elena Kagan for not wanting to come out openly. There were some gays, uh, Andrew Sullivan, who's a prominent blogger who does not blog anymore. And then they were like upset that at one point, the Obama administration had to come out and say she's not gay. And I just tell you for me, watching that particular thing I described, it was quite obvious that no, uh, whatever congressperson uh, asked Ms. Kagan that question during the process, during some type of interview, you know, if someone says, we're proud we're going to have the first, you know, openly gay uh, justice on the court, and the person kind of just smiles, and then the person asking the question, who was more than likely a Democrat, says, oh, I'm sorry, like, I didn't mean to out you. But then what I saw is all of the blogosphere and media posts that said, why do you believe that Elena Kagan is gay? Simply because there was a picture of her playing softball. There was one media outlet at one time that had a picture of Elena Kagan uh, playing softball, I guess, in college. 
in those articles was saying the ignoramuses of the world just associated softball with being gay. Actually, no, they were former friends of Miss Kagan that said, yes, she was gay, she, or at least bi. There were people that she went to prominent places and brought a female partner. So the left or the liberal side, instead of being open about all of that issue, they basically have a net, uh, so many web posts, me trying to share those links, that said, look at the ignoramuses that thought because she played softball, she was gay. No, actually, it was enough that it was kind of in the open, but then they kind of didn't want it to maybe be that public, which even some criticized the Obama administration for sort of a CBS post, CBS News reported on it, and the Obama administration attacked the CBS News for that article and, cu and made them take it down. And then it showed me that then the agenda became, how dare you call us that? And those that are actually proud to be gay in that lifestyle were offended that the Obama administration and Kagan actually then had to try to come out against it. Whether she practiced uh, different lifestyles, and, that wasn't the issue I raised today. The issue I raised today was, if you're going to go back and say, we will pick certain Supreme Court justices who are considered conservative, and we're going to go back and look at their drinking days or whatever, and then we're going to begin processes where we will impeach them which is not a normal process to remove a justice if you're not. It's happened a few times uh, with judges. But it seems as if some were floating that we'll just do FBI investigations on particular justices we don't like, political things. That was the whole intent of what you heard me speak about today. And then when I looked at the manipulation, there were so many posts that would say, Articles from Barrett, Mother Jones, all types of uh, news articles that would say, why do the crazy Christians think that because someone plays softball? That, no, actually, there were enough people, even in the gay community, that seemed to say Miss Kagan was indeed gay. And they were upset, sort of like, because she didn't want to come out of the closet openly. It wasn't a smear campaign. It was sort of like, and did I believe then when I realized at one point Miss Kagan obviously must have been? No, because I just told you, I watch C-SPAN, I watch news. I remember myself watching, a, a, more than likely a Democrat, kind of saying, well, we're proud to have the first, you know, gay justice. And she kind of like, well, I didn't, and then the senator or congressperson kind of said, oh, well, maybe we were not supposed to out you type of the thing. I saw that. I saw, it wasn't a baseball picture. That's what the media does. I posted all those links. Some were from gay sites. Okay, you could see. like, they, And I tried to share the links that I could. And that's what I... It's not a, a gay hunting campaign. It's to say, if you want to open up that door, if you want to open up the door, to say, let's go to, into the background. But the other lesson we learned today is how social media and even those articles over a period of time, when you Google, is Elena Kagan gay? There's enough to see from former friends. There's enough to see from... But no, the articles that come up is like, what about all the loons that think she's gay because there was a photograph of her in a softball picture? That's... That's just one example of manipulation. As a Christian, and I know various friends who are gay, and they will tell you, Joan doesn't discriminate. I, I hug my gay friends. And all my friends, you know, don't know that. I've got a few friends, and they like to hug. And even some of my other friends are like, oh, I won't be letting so-and-so hug me. I said, well, I hug him as a friend. The offensive thing at this stage is, 
how once again they've manipulated even that, even that. This was an outing Miss Kagan, whether she dabbled and then changed at one time and went back. It's none of that. It's then they began saying, how dare anybody ever think Miss Kagan was gay? And you could see some of the other comments on it, like, well, just ask the woman she brought to the wedding or whatever. And even uh, one side of one article said, look, she has an openly open girlfriend that everybody knows about. I remember reading that when this was, it wasn't a secret. But I guess Mr. Obama would say, can you prove that there were sexual relations? Because the Obama administration came out very strongly to squelch any media. And it wasn't a secret. Uh, there were a couple of other uh, gay nominees that Mr. Obama was thinking about. That was the liberal view, and I didn't bang him on that and, and that, and then he backtracked on that. That's the manipulation. So, we do want to open the door for the investigations of the heterosexuals that were left of the aisle. Miss Kinsberg, an elderly Jewish woman. Do you know I can quote scripture to you, my Christian friends, in John's Gospel that says, and to the Jewish people that did not believe in Christ as the Messiah, he said to them, you are of your father, John 8, 44, you are of your father, the, the father of lies. This is not anti-Semitic. Theologically, in the New Testament, he said, if you deny to his Jewish brethren, he said, if you deny that I'm the Christ, you are yet in your sins. You're in deception. And every Christian should remember. I didn't find it, it, it was hard for me to comment on some of the stuff that was coming out of the whole New York uh, all prosecutors, Elliot Spitzer has even came up as I was researching the LA Kagan there. Anthony Weiner, Chuck Schumer, Elena Kagan, uh, Justice Ginsburg. It's interesting that in Scripture, in our country, we do not, uh, we don't have a religious test for you to be in Congress to be represented, run for president. We don't have a religious test. As believers, I find it interesting that even in the Harvey Weinstein, thing, if, if for those that are not familiar, there were many Jewish people in positions of authority. Those are the names I mentioned. Prosecutors and all that caught, caught up in a lot of sex scandals. But they were also the strongest to go after in general, we're going to hunt down and meet out justice, going after Trump or whatever. And in scripture, because of that quote I gave you, if a Jewish person, like any person, rejects Christ as Messiah, theologically, all they have is a self-righteousness that they're functioning out of, which is no righteousness at all. And it causes us to question the real sincerity of people outside of Christ when they say we're seeking to do justice. My post today were not anti-gay, nor were they saying that I myself object to either a gay woman being on the court or functioning. I was against, there was a military pilot, a gay man. The, Planes fly over here all the time. And I remember the whole controversy of um, don't ask, don't tell, and all that. And he had like 20 years in. And then they said, well, you can't come out and say you're gay. And then he, he was mad. But he was a good pilot. And like his 20 years was almost up to retire. But he came out and said, look, I'm gay. And like at that moment, he was testing the system. And he had like six months left. And it was got a thing. And you're going to make him leave you know, if I was in charge, if I was his commander or whatever, as a Christian, what would I have told that gay pilot? And he only had six months to go. 
I would have said, look, what we want is for you to get your retirement, brother. That, that's what I would have told him. We said, you've been a good pilot for many years. So as a Christian, I might not agree with your lifestyle to that pilot. I said, but look, man, right now, and all the issues that we're dealing with in life, I'd hate for you to lose your retirement six months before you finished your 20 over something like this. So I would have done my best to just do what's right. Because whether he was gay or straight, it would have been like cheating him to make him leave the military like six months before the 20. I, that's how I would have looked at it. I remember thinking that. John, would you have justified? No, I would have tried to show him the scriptures, the different views that people have had. The whole hypocrisy is, but yet we think we can say, let's look. Let's look at the past of, uh, did he drink too much beer? Now he lied about that. Or, Look, most people in the, in the public realize that you played a huge game that was destructive. So that's why you see me post all those links. It wasn't to gay bash Elena Kagan. It was to find it to show you, look, there was enough that was in the public domain, just in the politics that people follow, I follow, that kind of knew that. I didn't just go by rumor. Watching it at the firehouse or whenever I watched those hearings, and then it was joked about, and, like, and now they make you think anybody that would believe she was or has that lifestyle so a softball picket. They're so manipulative. And they do it on everything. And they do it nonstop. That's the media. All right. Being I had to, I didn't want to do another one. The intent was not gay bashing. The intent of all those links was not to say, see, I wanted to, I finally realized, oh, they already skewed everything on Google and everything else. The intent was to say that issue did come up. And yet we didn't, at least I didn't say, let's investigate, let's look, let's see. But yet, that self-righteousness, that, that's the thing, remember that. Whether you are Jewish, whether you are Italian, whatever you are, Catholic or Protestant, apart from the righteousness of Christ, you really don't have the standing to make true value judgments. Because somehow it plays into your image, the side that you want to appease. So in the end, uh, you're not going to really get justice out of any of that. But we do the best that we can as a society. And most people can see through all that political garbage. I'll end that.